That's it. Chatterbox Chronicles. Chatterbox Chronicles. <laughs> I mean, we've been arguing over the name for so long. I don't even know what's it called that at the moment. You, you just voice note the other day and said Chatterbox Chronicles, so I just let him. Forget we run with Chatterbox Chronicles. Mm-hmm. I like Chatterbox Chronicles. Yeah, so when you voice note and said Chatterbox Chronicles, I said, mm-hmm. okay, cool. Say no more. Chatterbox Chronicles. Chatterbox Chronicles, it is. Yo, what are you saying, people? It's cooked. Uh, yes, you started like that again. Nope. <laughs> nope. You know, it's my tech little tester. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's happening, peoples? Welcome back to the Chatterbox Chronicles with me, Cooks, and... Okay, let's properly start him. I was taking a drink of water. You saw me sipping the water. Oh, you... I thought that was a decent oh, start as well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, No, good. No, check. Sounds all good. Okay. No yeah, we're good to go. Yo, what's good, peoples? Welcome back to the Chatterbox Chronicles. We actually finally got a name now. Yes, it With do. me, Cooks, and... Me, Jacob. I know your name, bro. Man said Jacob. No nickname. So, nah, so, man uh, said uh, Jay. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Jay, then. Okay, cool. Jay. What are you saying, Jay? How are you, bro? I'm all right, my brother. How are things? How are things? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. You know, we're here. Uh, well, we're finally going to release something, possibly, yeah? Yeah. We've just been chatting there with no, no release. release day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. So, what? Should we address the elephant in the room? The elephant in the room? Yeah, to address the elephant. Uh, you ran a marathon on Monday. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on completing the marathon. The first one to do it on a football pitch. Like, oh my incredible. goodness, a man said I ran a marathon. <laughs> Congratulations. The first one ever to do it on a football pitch. Oh, well man. done. How was it? Tough. Tough but good, man. Yeah. Tough but good. Always good to be out there playing games like that, mm. that experience, that crowd. Um, so yeah, tough but a good evening out. Um, I like to always get to, uh, get a chance to test myself against... Better opposition, of course. Um, high level, higher level opposition in Coventry, mm-hmm. um, and I felt like you know, I uh, proved that I can play at that level in, in a sense, and you get what I mean. So yeah, no, nah, I have to say, obviously, I came down there. Um, was a weird feeling going back for me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because obviously you. Uh, yeah, you know, grace that grace. Ground. Yeah, yeah, grace that ground for hundreds of times, and you know, um, seeing you out there, first half you obviously. You know, you tried to beat the quickest 5K time while you were running. <laughs> and then uh, second half, you got on the ball and I thought you were brilliant when you come on. Like, mm. you was on the ball more, obviously. It's nervous for some lads, but you played in some, obviously, like I said previously, playing in some mad stadiums. Yeah. So I don't think the occasion got to you at all, to be honest. No, no. I thought no. you obviously stood out quite well. Mm. But it's mad to see how far Coventry City have come, like, from when I was there. Even to see grass on a pitch was bonkers. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, right, like, is that grass? <laughs> Because after game two, the grass done. Because they obviously they had the rugby on it. They didn't look hard for it for London, years. Yeah, London Wasps up there yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Thank God they're finally gone. Um, and the club's going to where it should be, man. It's it's, mm. it's, it's wonderful to watch. And obviously Mark Robbins doing a wonderful job with AD and all them lot. So it's affairs, man. Like, what a club. Like, the people there are still brilliant. Saw a few old faces and it was really good. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, for you obviously, uh, returning to your old stomping ground. I'm glad you. I'm glad you came to watch and got to see what the ground was. Yeah. What is the club? The club's become since you've been there. And for me, just I've played there before, but it wasn't that. Yeah. We were speaking before that it wasn't what it was in terms of yeah. the ground, the change rooms. Mm-hmm. Everything's changed in terms of you can see it's a club that wants to be in the Premier League. It's a Premier League ground. Yeah. It's, it's a Premier League. It's ground. a Premier League club, man. Yeah. Like. It, the only thing that hasn't changed probably the fans. Like the fans are still the same. Like, yeah, but good, it's a good set of fans. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, to be honest, the turnout was better than I expected. It was bonkers. It was actually the highest crowd this season. So, yeah. Because, obviously, I feel like ticket prices, FA Cup, they yeah, the dropped it cheaper. quite a bit, yeah. So, I think normal match days are 50, 40 or 50 pounds. Yeah. And, let's be honest, people ain't paying 50 pounds to go to a champ game when you mm. could watch Premier League games. Yeah, no, nah, I remember, I saw, a, I saw a kid um, there, that when I was there, he must have been like, Seven. Now he's like a basic big man. Yeah, like, see? Like, what the hell is going on? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's happened to you, man? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, like, he's growing up a lot. So it's been a while. Freaking hell, that's really showing my age as well. Like, yeah, freaking hell, I'm getting old as hell. But now nah, I thought, I thought you were excellent, man. I thought pff, you got on the ball. I thought you were brave. I feel like, I don't know if you went in the same game plan as Ipswich. I felt like some players kind of, I think when they got the early goal, it completely changes for you. Do you know what I mean? Like against Ipswich, yeah. you got through that little period of 15, 20 mm-hmm. minutes. They scored and everyone's confidence goes up. Do you know what I mean? Right, but I don't right, think right. Coventry gave you the opportunity to do that. 
No, I feel like they were better in terms of like capitalizing on opportunities. Yeah. They really capitalized on opportunities. They didn't really rest anyone. They put out their strong team. Yeah, they they, were, out, they put we, out. we spoke about this, like it was never happening again. Like no. they were never gonna let that run. No, so they put our side that okay, cool, we're coming here to win the game. Yeah. And um you could see the quality difference in terms of when our first goal, we lost the ball in the middle of the pitch within mm. two passes in the back of your net. Yeah. Whereas in the conference south. Did someone slip? No, he's tried to um Reese tried to slide me in. Yeah. He tried to no, he tried to slide. No, me. I was talking about the defender when Casey passes it to No, I just think Sims. he played a just a bounce, you know, the bounce pass. Bro, when did you learn that? Bro. I didn't teach you that one in school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't teach you that one. If I gave it to you, I was <laughs> sorting. I didn't teach you that one in school. If I tried to upright my ankle. Yeah, he's played the bounce pass and it's literally Got perfect, his foot. Yeah, yeah, perfect into his path. So it's unreal. um Yeah, man. Uh you know, you know, it's one of them games where, you know, you live and you learn. But yeah. I guess I guess as you said, the go- early goal forces us to now kind of change what we had in terms yeah. of you can sometimes sit back and defend you at nil nil you're not you're defending something you yeah, get what i mean course, yeah at one nil you really have to kind of come out come out and then bit, at two yeah. nil when they scored because like at damn. two nil you now need to do try and do something yeah and, and i feel like we tried to but we were getting in areas and we weren't taking shots yeah and we were just getting in areas and we weren't doing enough in those areas. But we were getting into good positions. Yeah, of course, yeah. But um, I feel like they watched us against Ipswich and understood that, okay, we're not allowing them to counterattack. 100%. We're not going to be as high as Ipswich to be susceptible to the mm-hmm. counterattack. We're going to kind of be in a space where we can just sit and then drop deep. Yeah. So when we do go in behind, our centre-backs are going to be there. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, can, they kind of controlled the game in and out of possession. Yeah. Which is one of the things that top teams can do. Definitely. And uh, I feel like we, in the second half, grew into it. Uh, we changed shape because we started 4 3 3, went to a 3 4 2 1. Mm-hmm. And then um, in the 3 4 2 1, I feel like we were better in, better in terms of just being able to get across the pitch, mark who we needed to mark. Um, and then, you know, 3 0 happens. Well, 3 0 happened in the first half. Oh, yeah. And then the second half, we were 3 0 until like the 87th. Yeah, you come off. Yeah, 87th minute. And then Can't lie, as soon as you come off, I was out. <laughs> yeah, I know because I came to the crowd to see everyone, and yeah, journey was journey was bonkers up yeah, there, man. I could imagine. I, it was like freaking now. I can remember this. Like this is freaking far, blood. Mm-hmm. Like it's far. It don't. The thing is, Coventry don't look far on the map, but when you start driving it, you're thinking to yourself, "My goodness." I tell you, was jokes. You know, when you play like teams further away, so when you play like a team in Manchester or mm. like let's say Harley Poor something. You get past Coventry quick, blood. But when you're going to that one direction, oh my, that one day, I said destination, it takes, takes forever. Forever. Bro. Like, bro. right, we're in Coventry already. But then you realize, like, bro, oh, you're on the road for a so, minute. Yeah, because when you're driving to like Manchester, it feels like you've been driving for an hour and a half and yeah. you're in Coventry. Yeah. Because you know you've got like a good the, way yeah, to go. Way to go yeah. But when you're just driving to Coventry, I was thinking, this journey's long. Nice, no, it's quick, quick. Yeah, but good experience overall, man. I feel like the boys. We just have to take the form that we've in. We have yeah. FA Cup form into the league, and then just a quick one. What was it like on the way home after the slapping? Um, because it was a slapping. It was. It, right. <laughs> it was. It was. You know what? It wasn't too bad. You get what I mean? Everyone, you you feel it for a while, and then you you know you just look at the kind of. The, you know what? Well, we done. We actually done a mad thing to get here. Yeah. Yeah. Fairs. And you and the celebration. We were on the pitch for a while after anyway. Yeah. Um, kind of just being just messing with up the grass. For, yeah. For no. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're messing up the grass. For they're no taking. Reason. They've taken years to get grass and now you just want to mash up. <laughs> the grass is hybrid, Reese. <laughs> they got a hybrid surface, so it's astro and, and grass. grass. Okay, so yeah, it's not getting it. ruined anymore. Say, say not, they say got not. money now, you know. <laughs> yeah, they got bread there <laughs> they still. Got, they want no bread and holes, man. <laughs> they got you know money now. Cecil ain't putting no bread and holes, man. <laughs> Damn, do you know what I mean? They got peas now, so they, they, got, got, they, got, now. they got the money to to fix the grass when we mess yeah. it up. Yeah, no. Um, Congrats but, though, bro. That's yeah. it's a mad achievement, man. But the journey home was all right, to be fair. We'll just end up just having conversations about the levels in football when you could see the difference in class. Yeah. And it was it was just it was just a good journey home. There mm-hmm. were no, no celebrations, but, you know, you're just celebrating the fact that we kind of got here yeah. and we played in front of 27,000 fans. Nice. And, you know, you, you cherish the experience for life and you Hundred. try and kick on and move on from there. Mm-hmm. Crazy. So... Let's talk about what we've seen in the news of recently. <laughs> and I want to think, I want to ask you, obviously, uh, madness come out about PDD. Oh. And I don't tough. want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about, you know, first of all, we should have been, after a man's got six or eight, he goes, you know, Puffy, Diddy, mm-hmm. P. Diddy, Sean Combs. Mm-hmm. Was it a love one? He had a, it was something love one time. <laughs> anyway, um, is there, it comes to a point where, all musicians are sick. Well, not musicians, but everyone in the industry is sick. Do we just separate the music from the artist at this point? 
But I think I think it's getting to that point. <laughs> I honestly think we, it's getting to that point where we have to just start separating the music from the man or the music from the woman. Yeah. But the only issue with doing that is, what is their music about? That's a good question. Because, <laughs> bro, are they really rapping what they're talking about? This is the thing. Or is it, who's writing their bars? Because if someone else is writing their bars, then it's listen. okay. But then that takes a lot because you're going to have to, every song, you're going to be like, who wrote this? That's true. And we've been singing these lyrics and rapping these bars for years. Years, brother. So now, so I, mean, now I was there, it? I was there on, obviously earlier I went to gym and, you know, I was listening to, uh, was it Kerry Hilson and P. Diddy? Mm. Uh, last night. Yes. Like, like this. Then you start to think, what? What's he actually, what he, really, what's he really singing what's he about? really singing about? <laughs> Even the voice note at the end is crazy. That's the thing. Because crazy. is that the truth? Is that a real? Bro, vo- you look, never know if it's a real thing. The voice at the end goes, "That's what they do, right?" And he's talking about, "I'm coming to kill blah blah blah." See, you win. It's like, did you try block Cassie's card a couple weeks ago? <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like going back and listen to that voice at the end of that song last night by P Diddy. You'd be like, very confused. You'd be like, yo, like this is really aligning. Like, mm-hmm. what's going on here? So that's- I don't know, man, because all my favorite artists seem to be sickers. Yeah, that's true. And There's a level of sickness that you have to... I feel like now it's become like you have to be so sick to be so great. Yeah. But I don't know what's going on in the music industry, but I feel like it's getting to that point where we have to separate the music from the yeah. person. Because it's mad. if we don't, we ain't going to be listening to no music it's crazy, anymore. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, so what have you seen anyway? What have you seen that this week? That's... What, with Puff? No, nah, just in general, oh, man. Cause... Like, what have you seen? This week in general, what have I seen in terms of the, where I've been seeing the Puff Daddy stuff and that's been, that's been kind of. That's been taken over my TL. Yeah, really. the headline kind of thing for me. Yeah. Just Last week, obviously, was that Omale situation. Oh, oh. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm sure everyone else has spoke about it. Yeah. But I, someone, I think I saw a tweet earlier, I saw a video earlier of someone saying he got brands off the joint. Well, this is the And thing. I, I'm just seeing like guys are like flourishing off it like it's them. I'm like, bro. Listen to it. It's a one man thing. You're not gonna get revenge on your ex. Like this isn't you, brother. No. <laughs> like, no. Just let it go. This isn't you. This mm-hmm. is this one brother's blessing. Yes. This ain't you. Let the ex thing go. It, it's done. Do you know what I mean? You're not getting the sponsorship. Do you? <laughs> yeah, got your ex. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, bro. It's not living through my man, bro. And it's... still to the video. What? Not the actual video of the concert because that's that. Yeah. The sponsorship video. Yeah, that everyone's talking who, about. Who is sponsoring him? Is it Morley's? <laughs> Morley's this what's that? I don't know, but is it Morley's? Is it Apple? Is yeah, it, yeah, is true. It, who? What is it? Is it? He's got Omelay playing in the background. Yeah. So who's actually sponsoring him? It's true. Like I think these things just do it for clickbait. To be honest, has to be. But then do you? What, man, I'll be honest. Know? I saw his fit because you know we like to talk about his fashion. Mm. And um, yeah, that ain't it. <laughs> now I looked at it. I might have gone back up on stage if it was me. Huh? The, the fit thing's crazy, bro. I said you would have gone back up on stage. Yeah, if I was you? her, I would have gone up on stage. Because <laughs> what's my man going out dressed like that for? Bro, you thought he was fashion. Huh? You thought he was a fashion man. I'm tired of people keep doing this fashion thing. Yeah, but you know men that think they're fashion man. How they dress. Come on, man. You know this. It scared me mad. Because you said, f- what did you send me the other week? You sent me um, Ben Chilwell at the... In the uh, vest thing. The ve- <laughs> and then you trying to message me back saying I've got a vest just like that. Piss I off. Do. I do, that's a thing. No, 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 I did a photo shoot. I have actually done a photo shoot in a vest just like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I haven't seen it. Actually. Uh, yes, you have for seen it. A different lens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a yeah, you're, take, you're taking a piss. <laughs> I was not to message you for that. What are you doing? You ain't even got arms like that. I didn't need the arms. It no, was no, just the, the, no, vest, no, the, the vest fit was nice. No, the vest was a two pack of arse. <laughs> Bro, the vest fit. You know, I just said, let me just... Because you know me, sometimes I like to do the fashion thing too. Yeah, you, like to you're, you're actually lot. quite good at it. So yeah. this is why it annoyed me when I saw the vest thing. No, because I... Because you tried to get out... You tried to go outside the box. <laughs> <laughs> and you look crap. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to tell you. The vest thing weren't it. I'm glad you took other pictures because the vest thing weren't it. Yeah, no, I know. But no, no. in fact, I thought the vest thing looked all right. In fact, in my opinion, the picture looked good. I'm not going to let you down, downplay what the picture looked That's right. Yeah, that's I'm, fine. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, my brother. Yeah. I, yeah. You, you, you ever told you, you ever told you, yeah, the vest thing's it. You look no, cold. No, no one had to tell me. I told myself. <laughs> you know what? That's just, that's the self confidence people need in life. I told myself, <laughs> you know I look good in the vest thing. 
It was a, it was, I guess Ben Chilwell told himself the same thing. No, no, he didn't look that bad though. Don't look at me like that, my brother. He didn't look that bad. In that vesting, it was all right. The vesting with the boots. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Or the young used to call it drip. Yeah, bro, bro, it wasn't that. I don't think it was that bad, honestly. Honest to God, I don't think that was that bad. He's still running out, as they say, boy. No, because he was at, no, but you have to look at where he was. He was at a fashion show. That's the first thing. You got to look at where people are. You see your surrounding depends on your dress sense. Cool, carry on. Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying okay, to wait, no, no. You go to a fashion show, what's your fit? That's, the, that's a good question for you. You're, you go to a fashion show in, in Milan. Right, cool. Dior, little, little. What's your fit? A little, little fashion show, yeah? Yeah. See me, but I'm a simple fella. No, 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 but you, you can't be simple today. I can't be simple today. You have to do something a bit different from your norm. Okay. So cool. no hoodies allowed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, calm. And no Jordans allowed. I said no J's. All right, cool. Yeah, so what are you going, what are you going for? Something if different outside the box, but still in your lane. All right, cool. So going in a bad boy suit, little three piece, but the, the tail of the suit. Mm. It's carrying, so I'm gonna need a two man to carry the tail of my team. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you're so having a train suit, you got a train, a train on the suit. <laughs> no, bad like, boy suit, crisp. Like, but my suit, like the, the jacket's coming over the things. I mean, like, like so you're like, having the the, the over carry, you know, yeah, yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. Bad boy suit, maybe like a like a blue top with a white trouser thing with like, mm, Wait, with sorry. a little gold buttons. I, could, I, I know what you're... But this is now looking a lot like Royal Family. Mm? You're now looking a lot like Royal Family. That's I'm what a it's serious looking. man. No, no. Come on now. You can't be... We're jumping way, right? One jacket that comes over my face. Like, <laughs> over here. So there. You know what I mean? No. I'm, I'm looking like one anime character. No, no, brother. No. But like something different that's not a suit. All right, cool. So... See, because the vesting now is is it down the, the lane. The vesting is never gonna see me. Because why the hell am I gonna in a straight vest? No, but it's vesting with a little sun underneath. Mm, I could run. No, but the vesting is a knit vest as well. That's yeah. the thing. The, the knit vests are nice. Jay Boogie, listen to me. You're I'm not gonna come so... on here in my knit vest one time. You know. You I can, you, swear you're, to you God, you can cost me the whole episode. <laughs> You got me the whole episode, but I'm gonna wear it and smile. I, I respect it. I respect that you wore it, but I'm gonna tell you it's a two pack of ass. <laughs> you could say it's a two pack of ass, but I like the best. Too. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, if I was to go, I don't know, my man try try to go too far. Yeah, you know I made mean? little 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 coat, little overcoat. Do you know what I mean? She dresses well for fashion events. Offset. I've, the Migos dress especially very well for, for fashion events. events. Yeah, they dress yeah, but really they do well. But they're the best thing as well though. On stage. <laughs> I see not one so of them in the It depends where you do that. Off-vesting. 100%. You're allowed to do the vesting on stage. If all them strobe lights licking you, it's hot. What do you mean the knit vest is hot? Huh? Yeah, the <laughs> strobe lights. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Rage up. Jump up. You know what I mean? You know I mean? You got a little breeze under the thing. You know I mean? got a little one with a breeze, bro. Nah, bro. The vesting keeps you warm, though. Uh, bro, listen, you can't just back up a bare, just a bare vest of a thing. You can. You, you ain't giving me then, that. I'll be real. Are, are you doing a knit thing then? A knit, a long sleeve knit. I could bust a. You know what? I could bust a long sleeve knit. Yeah. Then what's what's the trouser? Coat though. A coat thing, definitely. Um, trousers. Be, it could be a simple little trouser though. Trousers. I don't think trousers have to be too out there. Little simple trousers. No little bugs. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't think I wear trainers. You can't wear trainers to a fashion show. I don't think it matters. You, a trainer. Yeah, certain trainer. Mm. You know I mean? But I think I'm a. But every trainer now is literally on the road. So. That's the thing. So don't actually so I don't think it'll be a trainer thing. I think a lube be... thing, a lubaton. We're gonna have to talk about lube. You know, because we do have the conversation. Like, oh, you know, Lubuto might be the greatest trainer of all time. Yeah, because actually, uh, uh, remember how we're having a conversation. That yeah, time and we said we need to bring them back. We hundred percent need to bring back the simple pair of lubes. Yeah, because really and truly, they're so put. They go with everything. Everything, brother. The nice color. Apart just... from a tracky. Yeah, uh, I don't know. People that wear it with a tracky, I want to fight them. But but they weren't trainers like that. No, they they're not. Like shoes to kind of yeah. go out to dinner. Mm. A calm the, shoe to go out the, for the, dinner. The, the, the all, when you have the all white. Mm-hmm. I, I, I had a pair of the brown, brown ones the, with a suede. Suede on the side? Yeah. I had the ones too. I called them a different level of respect. I, got, I, got, I, got, I, got, I have myself a picture somewhere. I used yeah, to chop yeah, them ones yeah. weekly, boy. Mm-hmm. But you know, yeah, Lube's a great trainer, man. The simple thing. When they start, I never did the spike thing, though. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't like the spike thing. Spike thing was crazy. I kill someone. Yeah. No. I was like, when I used to see man on the spike thing, I think, you You're doing, doing too much. You're, you Way wanna, too much. Yeah, this is you want to be French? Yeah. You want to be French? My thing was, let me do the subtle lube thing. 
it's great. You get what I mean? And you know when someone walking behind you, then you know it's red underneath. Yeah. So it's beautiful, like simple mm-hmm. trainer. I don't think we're ever gonna get a better trainer ever again. No. Apart from Air Forces, but Air That's Forces have now been run to, to the must. Yeah. Yeah. Air Force has been Yeah, all right, pushed. man. It's like Jay's man. Yeah. Jay's are done. Mr. Day's going into the shop and buying and being able to buy a pair of Jays. When was the last time you actually went to the shop and bought a pair of trainers? Honestly. I remember, bought a pair of riffs in 2017. 2017 was the last time you went to the shop and bought a pair of trainers. Bought some riffs. Yeah, see? Bro, I can't remember the last time I walked into a shop. And went and bought shoes. Yeah, because... Impossible. N- number one, there's nothing I want on the shelves anymore. No, not at all. And Actually, that's a lie. I bought some Conda Gargans converses. In, in, in Selfridges? Yeah. You got them in the store? Yeah. COVID times. Ah, see, because I went to, I tried to get those in the store. And yeah, done now, nah. impossible. I tried, I got them, but Did you? I had to order them online. Order online, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I haven't been into a shop to buy a trainer mm. in a long, long yeah. time. I also think everyone's just copying everyone now with a the trainer. There's no originality anymore. No, nah. everything looks the same. Bapes look like Air Forces. Yeah. Um, um, what's that? Major Mahara. Mason, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're like they're basic converses. converses. Them vans. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So now I just I A6, send me new buying balance everything is kind of similar. Christian Dior, yeah, <laughs> the runners now. That's the thing. This is people you need to understand about this runner thing. Yeah, remember when people used to get cuffs for wearing runners and jeans? Now it's there's fashion. It's fashion, brother. Now it's fashion because they say Dior. They're still running trainers. They are running trainers. They're still for, for the running rich. in. Yes, for the rich. Yeah, they're for running in. They're not trainers made for fashion. They're made for running. When in. When I see my wearing them in the clouds, I'm like, what are you doing? You see now I'm seeing people walking around Asics. I'm thinking, bro, I used to wear Asics. Back Way in back the, in the day. Back I, in the day. I my mum bought me a pair because I had like flat heel. So yeah, I went to a running shop. The Asics in, gel yeah, 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 yeah. And I had to get the heel thing and I got running them. And I remember I bought them to ball back in the day at Arsenal. And when I tell you, the whole changing will bust it up at my crap blood. <laughs> And you know when you try to leave the yard with different trainers on? So yeah. I like, was like, go get your runners. Mm-hmm. I just knew that it was another day just getting buoyed in the change room, yeah. man. And now was, everyone's wearing them. That's the thing. That's the maddest thing about it. Because back then it was, oh, I have to wear Nike, I have to wear Adidas. I was rolling to training in Asics because obviously yeah. they were the best actual running trainers. Of course, yeah. And man, I'm looking at my kicks saying, well, why are you hell, wearing... The hell are they? You they? Now Couldn't wear New Balance back in the day. No. No way in hell. But now, walk down the road, I'm seeing everyone in them same A6 kicks yeah. that I was wearing when I was 12. Everyone's got them now. Everyone's got them on. It's crazy. Them same New Balances that no one liked because they were made for dad shoes. New Balances are a dad shoe brand, by the 100%. way. 100%. Like, those same New Balances, everyone's rocking as fashion and people are doing collabs. It's just, it's as we said before, monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see, monkey do. What a saying. Because at the end of the day, if you have something and you like it, you like it. That's true. And if it works for you, Asics were the running brand, bro. And yeah. And we were wearing them for running. It's true. We were wearing them for their, their sole purpose. Now people are wearing everything for fashion. Mm-hmm. And saying, oh, and, and now the prices have skyrocketed. Asics did not used to be. 160 or good. This is the thing. Nowhere near that. For resale, man are buying Asics for what? Four or five bills. I said, no, 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 no. Air Force prices now. Breaks my heart. Mm-hmm. I generally, I don't know how people do it, but I physically can't buy myself to buy a pair of Air Forces anymore. No, not for full press. Not for full press, not at all. I have to speak to the Nike link. Because Air Force is for over 70 buffs. Criminal. Is actually a criminal. Like, criminal. <laughs> who's the, who um who owns Nike? He needs to be locked up. F- Phil, not, <laughs> Phil not Phil Knight. Well, Phil Knight's the um shoe dog, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Not, I don't think he's a career. What's his name? Oh, I forgot his name, yeah, but he needs know. to be locked up. Air Force is at one hundred and ten pound. Yeah, crazy. I can't believe it, man. We're we're done as a community, man. I don't know how, but I don't understand. I'm. Is it is it skyrocketed because of the cost of living and because of like recession? Not 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 recession right now but because of everything going up in prices that's why it skyrocketed or is it just because of the demand and the resellers buying everything that it's definitely Nike demand just, Nike just said okay COVID, well. COVID killed us game yeah, over yeah but COVID didn't stop Nike selling trainers yeah I know but remember every time people just at their phones constantly COVID as soon as the trainers dropped boom you couldn't even get dunks remember that, dunk prices oh my goodness yeah it's true and dunks this dunks were just a skateboarder shoe it's before. a skateboarder shoe this is a this SB is the, things. Ah, this is the maddest thing like, about I can't believe. I can't believe. I can't even, like, pandas and that. The common black and white Nike dunks, you know. Done. Going for two bills. Everyone's sending for three bills, resale. And I'm thinking that shoe costs £90. 
and yeah. it's for skating in, not so walking skating. around. Dunk SB. This is the thing that she, Nike make trainers for specific reasons. Specific reasons, and everyone then tries to make them a fashion Dunk statement. Dunk, yeah, and then it becomes okay, cool. Now it's a fashion statement. We now can sell this thing for thousands of pounds. I've got an exclusive Nike trainer at the moment, and it's not coming to fashion yet, which I'm buzzing with, which I do like, and I'm not saying I'm gatekeeping. <laughs> I definitely am gatekeeping. <laughs> Mother said you're gatekeeping. Yeah. There's a, there's a night trainer I have that I haven't seen. Everyone's ever. wearing another version of my ones, but my ones are. They're the real deal. They got the. They're not the real deal, but the it's a different version. But you, they got everyone's got the P six hundreds. Is it? Mm. That's what everyone wears. You're right. But my team's different, and they like the piece. My, my different. You, you got a didn't you got a new thing, different thing. Mm. The only the only shoe I know that I haven't seen anyone else wearing that I have. I have a few pairs to be fair, but I haven't seen anyone else wearing outside uh, a certain pair of Nike Fear of Gods. You and Regan are the only two people I've ever seen with Fear of God Nike. Yeah, and Re- and Regan's ones I've only seen Regan with his ones. Yeah, but I've got the black pair. And yeah. I've only ever seen one other person with them. Yeah, and I've That's never a... worn them outside. <laughs> yes, it's crazy. Too. <laughs> that resale is gonna be crazy. Yeah, so. That's that's the those are the trainers I probably that's a gatekeeping, but everyone knows about them. I just yeah. ain't seen no one with them. It's true. But trainer prices. It's out this world, man. Uh, trainer prices, fashion, everything's switching up, going back to what it used to be. Yeah. I told you I'm waiting for the soldier boy era, man. No, I'm not. You you might be waiting for that era, but wow. to wear three quarter lengths with babes and wear yellow and purple and green hoodie. <laughs> No lens glasses. I'm back. Like I can afford it now, B. West. I can afford it now, B. <laughs> I'm here. Let me land. Oh my goodness. I nah. would I would do knee knee activation every day just to <laughs> run back the dances that I had like in the day. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, so what? It's that time of the show mm-hmm. where you know I cause you know I think I'm one nil up. Yeah, from last week. Oh, yeah, 110%. Definitely 110%. I wasn't prepared. So. was not prepared last week. What, do I call your card to that one? Yeah, you did. But, yeah, say no more. Yeah, say no but more, this no week, more. this week. You got a little something for me? I got a little something for you. Okay, okay. Well. Yeah, buddy. It's the sample, it's the sample section. Yes, it is. Of, you know, did they do the, we'll call it, did they do the sample justice? Yes. So, as you're the loser <laughs> last week. What are you going with? What am I going with? Yeah. I had, I had to, okay, so I'm going to tell the crowd. I had two. I had two in mind, right? But I said, I said one of them might not win, and I said I can use it another week. So let me say. Okay, it. okay. So my original song, yeah, is "Cause I Love You" by Lenny Williams. Great song. <laughs> yes. Great. Yeah. Great song. Yeah. The kids but, won't know that one though. No, nah, but if you don't go and listen yeah. to it. The sampled song, mm. Overnight Celebrity, Twister, Kanye West. I was thinking that, you <laughs> know. <laughs> that is, you see, because I was singing it when I came in. I was yeah, thinking, yeah. respect clock on the what I'm singing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is, that is mine this week. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a special sample. Because cause I Love You is so, it's such a great song. Mm-hmm. And Overnight Celebrity, Twister with Kanye West. Woo, I, mm. someone else on that kick, that's right. Oh, there is, but I've, my brain's gone. Wait, but wasn't the sample different? The sample's Luther Vandross. Nah. Yeah. So uh, are you going to meet? Are you going to meet? Are you going to meet? No. That's no, different sorry, different song. Whatever That's the slow place. jams. Yeah. Sorry. That would have been a good time for Jesus. I mean, yeah. great song. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Freaking hell. Yeah. Um, oh, mine's recent, you know. Mm. But it's two artists we love. Well, one artist that we both love mm. that you put me on to. So, let me, let me hear the I've song. I've gone for... Hold on. <laughs> mm, this this first song be like, ooh, big hit. Uh, uh, let me hear it. Let sorry, me hear sorry, it. Sorry. Let me hear it. Because I love you. If you know about that track, big track, big track. Mm-hmm. Crazy, crazy. So my first one, yeah, is Khalees caught out there. Okay, Samford. Yes. By one of our favourites. Yeah, God. Brent. Best time. Yeah. 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 Cause cool out there. And yeah. Lyrics are cold. Like yes. when, you, when you really did the lyrics. Mm. Cold. And we were both massive Brent fans. Yes. Best time by Brent. 
it's, it's not a bad one. Yeah. It's not a bad one at all. Yeah. It's, it's, it's nice. Thank you. It's nice. It's nice. And it's I, new. It's, it's it, modern. It's very yeah, modern. So everyone will know it. Yeah. That's the, that's the. So I've tried to, I've tried to kind of. Yeah. Play this, play the system. Yeah, I understand. But. I think music. you win this one. Yeah, music, I think you win this week. It's only because I prepared this week. Yeah. Because I was in the car, I said, nah, there's certain samples I love. And I said, nah, let me just go for the ones that are yeah. old school, the old school track that's serious. And then the new school track that really did it justice. Yeah. So I said, yeah, I got to go. Using so, Kanye's cheating. That's also, because you know, <laughs> I was going to say that. That is such an easy way out. Because you can actually do it for most of his tracks. 100%. Literally all of them. Yeah. yeah enough all of them. Yeah. That is. You, you cheated, but it's fine. I did, but it was because it's Twister's song, uh, but you know, Kanye yeah. was a producer. But it's like using Timberland and that sort of stuff. It's true. Because then, man, it's cheating. No, nah, that was, you do win by my own, yeah. one, I think. <sighs> next week's going to be a good one because I've got one no, for no, next, no. next year. Best prepare, boy. You. Yeah. So, yeah, now well done. Yes, yes, yes. But moving on to the next segment yeah. of the show. And this is your favorite segment. Yeah, what are you going for? It's actually called You Won't Believe Your Eyes. It's the one video of the week that you find, which is a mad thing that happens in the week, basically. And uh, we kind of just <laughs> discuss. I actually see, had one. I need to see, have a little quick see what's going on. Even if it's last week's one with the children, the discipline, because yeah, we didn't actually do yeah, it. Yeah, hold on. What one, which one did I find? We actually um, didn't do it. So there's another new segment of our show that we like to incorporate into... into um, yeah, so it's called You Won't Believe Your Eyes. That's the, seg- that's the segment of the show. I saw a video. Yes. Of someone getting, her, getting their mouth cleaned by their dog. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I don't want to leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to expand on it any further. <laughs> but they were like the leftover residue of the food that they ate got cleaned out by their, their mum. I could not believe my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. There was a video of... <laughs> nah, man, I can't do this no more. <laughs> this is why I'm not on social media. <laughs> So I come over this week. You're telling me there was someone on social media that got their mouth cleaned by their dog. Jacob, the person at the mill. They went like this afterwards. And the dog was <laughs> I can't believe this. Yeah, but not there, Matt. It is hands down one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and people are way too comfortable with their pets. No, nah, honestly. Cause that's insanity. You cannot be uh... Oh my goodness gracious me. What is going on? Nah, 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 nah. I don't we even are, want to see that video. That's yeah, yeah, we're I finished as a people's. Yeah. So I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Can we move on to the next yeah. one? <laughs> Can I just give you like, that's just reminding what is me. That was on? disgusting. Oh my goodness. Nah, 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 nah. That's madness. That is madness. I know the colour of the person as well, isn't it? Can we move on? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on to our greatest stories, eh? Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because I don't know what is going on. I don't know what's uh, going on. Yes, but no, yeah. Let's actually let's actually go stories from the game. Stories from the game. Because we can go for what do you want to go for this week? Grenada, life. Where you where are you going with it? Is your story from the game this week? Oh, my story from the game. Yeah, it could be story from Grenada, story from the game, whichever one you choose. Because uh, you got a lot of stories from the game and you got a lot of stories from Grenada, so Okay, I'll bring our story from the game. All okay. right. Yeah. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> you see when you start doing this one's, up. um. This one's not actually. It's in the game, but it's not in the game. Okay. All right, cool. So, I'm at Cov. Mm-hmm. And, um, there used to be a club back in the day called Bamboo. Right, right, yeah. right. And, um, obviously, I just signed, in, like, I was at Cov, just signed a new deal. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. but, Everything was yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I was just handy deal and I was happy in it and obviously saving quite a bit. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And um I was young, by the way, before we carry on. I was a <laughs> good 20 years old, maybe 20, 21 years old, yeah. I love the way you have to preface this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Young boy, don't do this, yeah, please. This is foolishness. Yeah. Any stories that we tell, this is experience. It's experience. <laughs> so please. don't do what we've yeah. done. So I'm in the club and I'm in there and vibing, you know what I mean? I've got mm. my first little show, you know what I mean? Bamboo. Yep. Alize come through, in it? And we're in like bamboo, there used to be like a middle section, which is like VI, like just a VIP part in it. Mm. Like it used to be like VIP, little square. Whatever. If you've been bamboo back in the day, you'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, they got my little bottle show. Cool, do you know what I mean? So I got one and then I heard like the music stop and then I saw a light show come over to the other side. Mm. And there was a bottle show going like to the far corner. I'm at the top corner here, the bottle show going to the far corner. I look mm. over and there's a Premier League footballer over there, innit? Mm. And I'm like, rah, like, has he got more bottles than me, blood? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, rah. So anyway, I'm thinking, mm, calm. But I've got a few a few girls on my table, but mm. they keep looking over there like, right, like, who's over there? Do you know what I mean? And then the music stops again. And over this side, further down, there's another Premier League footballer, what is it day from Birmingham. Mm. Bottle show goes over there. Right, right, right. But obviously, my bottles are like, this Serrano, you yeah, know, yeah, Alizé, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, little things like that. The normal things. Like, little things. Their thing was champagne. do you know yeah, what I mean? Ace of Spades. They're the champagne. Like the Dom champagne. Perignon. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, right, like, it's what these ones are doing. And then mm. the table over there got another one. My goodness. So I was like, nah, and my things are now, they start to sway like over, mm. coming around this side. I said, no, no, bun that. So the lady, <laughs> get me that one. My boys are looking at me like, that cook's like, so I said, don't worry, I got it. Come, <laughs> so, give me that one. My bottle show comes to, mm. my things start crawling back. Do you know what I mean? Come on, yeah, you can't join yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Like, I see them look, get another one. It's like this. Oh. <laughs> so this can't be me. Jacob, so obviously, I'm trying to keep with the big boys in a prayer, mm. innit? Uh, <laughs> so you know it starts getting peak. <laughs> well, I've got them about round four, yeah? And I'll tell you, my ticket's full. Yeah. Like, full of drink. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> Jacob, that's round four. <laughs> These ones are still going. I'm getting mad. I'm like, look at my bike, yeah? But every time, like, we've got to about round four now. Look at my bike. Then I get this stupid text from Barkley saying, is this you? <laughs> I said, I remember, yes, in that capital so quickly. Like, yes, this is me. <laughs> God, <no. laughs> I'm getting angry. I'm like, 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 Jacob, I swear to God, Jacob, I swear to God, he wants to remember. Jacob, this is what I knew I was an idiot. Because keep it up, we're trying to keep up with Premiership footballers. I'm a flipping bozo. Bro, the boys are looking at, bro, you're, how are we going to drink all this? Yeah, of course. I'll tell you about it. Hey, man, I'm telling you now, when this is done, you're stuffed this, your pants will bring this all back to my yard. <laughs> all back to my yard. I was like this, bro, I'm not even joking. I can't remember what round it was, but I had a quid bike back out there. Jacob! <laughs> so let me get another one, then we'll become the team. <laughs> I put my thing in. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen this writing on the figure, it said, Declined, I said, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's it. I said, yeah, that's it. Jacob, what I tell you? I was crawling <laughs> to pay them. <laughs> no, no, Jacob. When I tell you, yeah. <laughs> when I tell you, I stopped it, yeah. Jacob, I'm not even joking. You know when you want water in your fridge, you're like, yes, you can't afford water. <laughs> so you're drinking the champagne and the thing like it's water to keep you hydrated. <laughs> Jacob, I'm not joking. Jacob, every day off the ball. God bless Dino. God bless Dino. I was like, Dino, I bet you pack up two boxes to, to, for the for the food that I've traded the leftovers. <laughs> Broski, I'd eat my dinner, I'd wait until morning, couldn't even get a little snack. Bed was all rumbling through the night. Soon as I felt the lights, but I was up, training early doors. 
to get breakfast, blood. But he was ugly, blood. Jacob. <laughs> you spent everything. <laughs> You're telling me you spent basically a month's wages. This is this is legal. This is good money, you know. It's a month of the bit. Yeah, this this is. <laughs> you spent you spent good good money at this point because that was good good money as well. Good man. good yeah good good, good bread. About good good bread. You spent that in a night. In a night, blood. And you crew till payday. Brother. When was when did you spend this money? Beginning of the month. This must have been around middle of the month. Beginning of the month. No, no, this was easily around the tenth. <laughs> so you had twenty days. I had, I had at least a good twenty twenty, <laughs> 20 days. days of help. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> I remember when the shit, transaction landed. Uh, it was crazy. I know but I will again. never ever forget when Barclays messaged me that day. <laughs> Midway through the thing. Is this, is this you? you? And I was like, yes. Like, capital was like, yes. <laughs> and then they get a text. Okay, thank you for confirming. I was so angry. They locked my phone. But I started from it. <laughs> you so, yeah. should text back, no. I <laughs> <laughs> just said, I don't want to do this no more. N-O. Oh, oh man. Bro. Oh well, that, my, that, was, that was a lesson I learned. I said, yeah. I can't lie. I didn't do it as mad, but again, I'm not going to act like I didn't party again after that. I did, but yeah, man. What was I thinking, blood? Yeah. That would be my story from the game, man. Yeah, so you, you, you're a club. You liked the club, though. I didn't like that. I didn't really like clubbing. <laughs> I didn't like the I was just bored. And you're up there. Yeah. But still, I was in London. I was at Paris. I, didn't, I didn't like... If I was in London... It'd have been worse. Yeah, but I'd have been in hell. This is the thing. I didn't actually like going to the club. It wasn't fun. So I go to the club. Like the first time I went to Libs, I think it was with Regan, Steph, yeah. and Mandela. Mandela. Oh yeah, there's another man that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I think I went, the first time I went to club was with them three. Yeah. I said, bro. This ain't it. This ain't it. There's nothing. You know what it is? You know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what clubs are for. Because you know what? <laughs> it's like post nut clarity. Because going up to it, you're excited. Mm-hmm. Once it's done. Once it's done, you've actually like, spent all that peace in five hours. And you're looking like, what did I get from what this? What did I do for that? Why did I do that? For no reason, bro. You know the first time I went lives, I got a table that was maybe you know the, the <laughs> square <laughs> thing. And I said, Hold on, is this is this what they're talking about? This is my table. Yeah. And this is where I, I get to sit down yeah. and I've spent three at least. And, it, and the thing is that you don't get to sit down because six gallon out on your table, so you can't sit. Exactly. I said, Yeah, no. Nah. After that, after that, yeah, I said, Yeah, I won't be seeing the club for a while. And the only time yeah. I went back was for just events or so birthday. party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I ain't got stories from the club, man. But no, your story from the game this week. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's, was, a, that's a good learning lesson, though. Yeah. Good learning lesson for those that are listening and they want to not do what you did. You got to enjoy yourself. Though. You have to enjoy yourself. This is the thing. So you know, that's what it is. I don't have no regrets, but I learned lessons. Yeah. That's the thing. That was stupid. Yeah. And you do well. And now I think, what could I have done with that piece? <laughs> Bought some BTC. Case. Always the case. Bought some BTC, retired. Mm. Who knows? Do you know what I mean? Instead, you spend it on some bottles and then you were drinking champagne for the, the same bottle. Month. The same bottle you go Costco, right past. And you get six of them for the, not, not even the price of one. That's the thing. Yeah, that's what you need. That's what young people and young footballers need to learn about the club as well, bro. <laughs> Have a house party. Have a house <laughs> That's the gospel. Have, Have a house, a house party. party. Honestly. You will spend half and get triple the drinks. And you can have every, all the people you want there, the and actual people you want, you want there. there. And you can get a cleaner as well, included. For cheaper than you'll ever spend in the club. Facts. And if, if not, charge people to come to your house. Charge them a tenner and they're paying for everything. See? The Bible, man. But yeah, man. Oh. Yeah, it's not sorry for the game, man. Yeah. God. <laughs> what a story. Yeah. What a story. Ridiculous. Yeah, but... um. Other than that, how's I know we're I know we're gonna wrap it up. But other than how how have you been in general, my brother? Mm. How's actually life been? It's been good, you know. Active, being active, you know what I mean. Like everything's going. Obviously, we have got this now. See, balls are right. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, got a couple of shoots to do. I actually don't know who for, but I've been out to do a couple of shoots. Nice. So you know, it's good staying active. Just yeah, because you know when you sit on your morals, it really does. Life dawned on you, innit, when mm-hmm. you're not busy. Like, rah, like, I'm not where I want to be. You start looking at other people and stuff like that. But I've never been a people watcher anyway. Like, I've always just enjoyed life as it is. So, yeah. you know, I've been lowest of lows, highs of highs. So I've just enjoyed it. End mm-hmm. the story. Like, you know what I mean? You breathe in every, end the story. So, yeah, you wake up every day. I wake up every day, bruv. You know, God bless. You know what I mean? Life. Word. So, yeah, you know, there's always someone worse off. So, mm-hmm. psh, just 
I just enjoy life, bro. That's how I say it. What about you, man? Yeah, no, all good, man. All good in general. Just keeping busy. That's my main thing. Mm. Busy with this, busy with for a different lens podcast and busy with football. Yeah, um, word. But yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to manage everything. It's the beginning of the year, so it's good. So I can kind of, you can trial run stuff. Yeah, get into place. So, yeah, so I like try, trial running a lot of stuff in the early months of the year. So everything's in place for the back end of the year. Most definitely. So um, I feel like I've put myself in a good place mm-hmm. at the start of the year. Um, and just long may it continue throughout to the rest of the year, really. Word, God bless. So, so yeah, other than that, I'm, I'm in a good place. All good. Yeah, um, more. Boy, birthday's coming up next month. Mrs. Birthday, and that's just going to be, you know, expensive. Yeah, I've got all that stuff out of the way, January. Yeah, see you lucky. That was another day I was crawling. <laughs> you're, you're crawling that month as well. I had Chris, Christmas, <laughs> then you have Mrs. Birthday, mm. all that stuff. And then February, you got Mum's Regan's birthday. Yeah. You know, I've been crawling for a minute now, you know what I mean? Knees are hurting. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're clear now, you know what I mean? Yeah. So clear. Yeah, so I've got I've got that in March though. I've got just busy, busy times. But international duty as well in March, isn't it? Nah, nah, we're not um, friendly. There is, but uh, friendlies. So How is it? yeah, we won't be going this this one. Who no are they playing? Um, I don't actually know who are playing this month, but um, it's uh, local countries. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, World Cup qualifiers is in June, so we back out in the summertime. But March we've been given the grace to stay at our football clubs. Yeah. And, yeah, stay in kind of. Pushed for the end of the season. Yeah, we my club won't be getting the playoffs, so I will be obviously coming to watch you lot when you lot do get it. Yes, yes, yes. And um, but we will play each other soon. Yes, we will be. That and debrief will be funny. That week. that will be a funny, funny week. Yes, and I will be saying names and I will be saying <laughs> moments. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. Yes, definitely. So, yeah. so brother, it was a. It's always a pleasure, you know, doing yes, this with you. So um, obviously we wrap up this week's episode of the Chatterbox Chronicles mm-hmm. with me, Cooks, and me, Jay. I said J. See? <laughs> See, we're going to get this right one day. <laughs> we're going to get this right one day. <laughs> Jacob. I like to say my full name Jacob, but everyone else calls me J. So, yeah, yeah but Jacob. Well, yeah, that's us, man. So, thank you very much. And blessings as always. Take care of yourselves.